Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you how you can easily set up a Discord server from scratch, how to add bots, how to assign roles and that sort of stuff. Whether you're just making a group with your friends or you're trying to create a server for your YouTube channel or if you're a Twitch streamer, this is going to be the perfect video for you. I'm going to leave timestamps in the description below in case you want to skip to a certain section of this video. And yeah, with that being said, hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. So first things first, I'm going to plug my own Discord server. It has over 600 different members who are content creators, photographers, videographers, graphic designers. So if you want to find collaborations, talk to people, get advice, check the pinned comment below. The first thing you want to do is you want to press add server in the bottom left right here. And at first they're going to ask if you want to create one from scratch or you want to select a template. These are the three most popular types of servers. So you can select one and it'll just make the process a little bit easier, but I'm going to create my own. You also want to select the purpose of your server. So I'm going to click on for a club or community. And you also want to enter your server name as well as a logo. The logo just appears on the left hand side where all your other servers you're in appear. I'm going to select my own. I'm going to leave a link to Canva, which is a free photo editor. So if you guys check the description, you guys can, can basically check out a bunch of free logo templates um, in case you don't know how to make your own or if you don't have one. So once we're done creating it, it's going to show you your server. So the first thing you want to do is set up navigation. Navigation are basically channels, categories. So the difference between categories and channels are categories are the main menu and channels are the sub menus. Text channels right here is the category and general is the channel. Voice channels is the category and general is the channel. So the difference between a text channel and a voice channel is voice is only a voice chat so you can talk to people. Um, text channels is just for like sending photos, typing, sending links and that sort of stuff. Pretty self-explanatory. So I'm going to show you some of the basic channels you can add. The most basic one is general where a lot of people can talk. This is going to be your most active channel. I'm also going to add one called welcome. People usually add this so that when someone joins their server, other members or a bot can welcome that new member. I'm going to show you how you can add a bot in order to do that later in this video. And I'm going to move that to the top. I'm also going to add a channel called rules so that you can sort of state the rules in the server and what can get you kicked and what can get you suspended or banned. No swearing, uh, no self promotion, no bullying and stuff like that. Lastly, I'm going to add an announcement section. This announcement section is helpful if you're a YouTuber or if you're a Twitch streamer because you can have a bot automatically notify uh, members of your server for when you are live and streaming or if you're uploading a YouTube video. You can also do this manually, but I'm going to show you how you can do this with a bot. And yeah, so right now you can see under text channels, we have four different uh, channels. In this case, general doesn't really fit with these other three channels because these three channels are mainly for new members and people who are trying to get information about the server and how the server works. So I might uh, right click on here and just edit the category and call this welcome so that people know that when you first join, you'll have to read this. General might be in a new category. So I'm going to right click and press new category and call this discussion. So this is where people can talk and interact. And I'm just going to drag general over there and I'm going to move it above the voice uh, category. And here you can add other ones like gaming. You can add sports, for example. I've also seen people edit their channel name and add emojis just so it's easier visually to see what the channel's about without reading the text. And this is usually helpful if you have a lot of different channels. Right now, I only have three, so it's not hard to read it. But for example, I'm in this uh, stock market group and you can see there's a lot of different channels. So for each stock, there's a corresponding emoji. So PayPal has like a credit card. Tesla, there's like a battery in a lightning bolt. So it's a lot easier to sort of find it if there's a lot of different channels. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to show you how you can do that. So you want to press edit channel and you want to press the Windows key and period on your keyboard in order to show the emoji keyboard. So right here it says if you press Windows key plus period, you can use emojis in any app. There's definitely a different shortcut on Mac, so I would search that up. But I'm just going to add some emojis. So for example, for welcome, I might use a wave icon. I'm going to speed this up so that you guys can see how it looks like with emojis on all these different channels. 
So right here, I've added an emoji to each of the text channels. I can also do this for the voice channel, but there's usually only one or two voice channels uh, just because a lot of people are more inclined to type in text rather than talk to people on voice channels. But you can definitely add different voice channels like gaming or maybe sports as well, for example. And you can also add emojis there. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to your server settings and you want to set up different things here. So one thing is enable community. So this just helps make your server look a little bit better and a little bit more seamless. So I'm going to press get started and I'm going to agree with these safety checks right here as well as I'm going to set up the basics. So for example, they're asking for a server rules or a guidelines channel. We already have one. So we're just going to link it right here as well as a community updates channel. And we actually don't have this. This is for Discord to notify us for relevant updates. And so what you would probably do is you would probably create your own maybe admin channel where the administrators and moderators of the channel can talk to each other and that would be a private channel. So I'm gonna just say create one for me and I'm gonna edit that later. And right here, these are some suggestions they have. So for example, default notifications set to mention only. This is actually a good thing because you don't wanna get a notification for every single message that comes through the server. Ideally, you would only want the ones that are directed to you. So if there's an announcement or someone is sending a message to your username, that's when you want a notification. So you would set default notifications to mentions only, and you would remove the moderation permissions from everyone. So the people with the role everyone is everyone in the server. So you don't want everyone in the server to be able to kick people, ban people, delete people's messages and stuff like that. You would only want those moderation permissions for the moderators, obviously. So I'm gonna agree and press finish setup. And there you go. Next thing you wanna do is set up your welcome screen. Basically your welcome screen is what people first see when they accept an invite. So you can see an example here, they'll see these three things. Maybe like the general chat, uh, it might be the rules section. You can actually select which ones you want to show. Maybe the announcements channel. So I'm gonna press set up welcome screen and you wanna set up the recommended channels that you want people to check out. So the first one obviously would be rules. And I would type like a description on what you would do here. Learn about the guidelines of this server. And I would press save. And that's just one of them. I would add another channel, maybe announcements, keep updated, one final one, general, start talking here. And so if I preview this, when someone first joins my server, this is what they're gonna see. There's gonna have this pop-up and you can add more than three if you want, there's up to five. So I'm gonna press enable here. And now when someone joins, they're gonna see this. An additional thing you can do is you can add membership screening. So this is to make sure people are following guidelines and stuff like that before they even join, like they agree to certain rules. So you can press set up membership screening and here you can set server rules. So I'm just gonna set one, for example, I'm gonna just set one, no swearing. And they have suggested ones as well. And I'm gonna enable this. So if I preview this, when they first join, they have to press, I have read and agreed to the rules. This way you can eliminate bots or anyone who doesn't belong in the server. So that's about it for the basic navigation. Now I'm gonna show you how to make roles. So if you go to server settings again, and we go to roles, right now there's only one role, which is everyone. So everyone, like I mentioned before, is everyone who joins the server. So we can create a new role, for example, called moderator. You can select a color, let's just say red. I'm gonna display role members separately from online members. So this is gonna appear on the right side of your server. This is probably important for moderator so people know who to go to if like they have an issue. And you would set their permissions. So, so you would only want them to be able to like ban people or delete comments, nothing else. So right here, I would just select kick members and ban members. I forgot to check these options because these are for audio channels. So you also want the moderators to be able to mute members, definite members and move members. And yeah, I would save changes. There's also another role that people like to use, which is admin. Basically, this is almost like an owner. They're able to change certain service settings and access the same things I see here. And these people are almost like the owners. They're able to manage basically every aspect that an owner can manage, except maybe delete the server. Um, so you just want to scroll down here and press administrator and this will basically just set the settings for you And as they mentioned here, this is a dangerous permission to grant um, So you would be very careful who you give this to and you can also create other roles that are a bit more specific like helpful people or People who specialize in a certain 
topic like maybe YouTubers or Twitch streamers or maybe popular people in your server. Like for example, if Jake Paul was in my server, I'd probably make a role called the YouTuber for him. So I'd press save changes. And to assign these roles, you would find the person you want to assign a role to and you can right click and go to role and select a role. So in this case, I'm moderator and I actually show up under moderator. Next, I'm going to show you how to add bots. It's actually very simple. I'm going to show you the most popular bot that people use and one that will basically do you most of the things you need to do. So this bot is called Me6. It's a Discord bot. I'm going to leave a link in the description. Earlier in this video, I mentioned that you can welcome users automatically. You can automatically notify everyone when you upload a YouTube video. So this is how you do it. So first you want to make an account with Me6 and you want to link your Discord. So I'm in a couple of them right here. I'm going to press set up Me6. And you want to make sure you select on the right one and you want to give it permissions. And another role you can actually add is bots. And right here you can see the different commands and different options um, you can do with this. So right here on my server, Me6 is in it now. So I can right click, go to roles and I can assign it a role. So in this case, I would go to uh, server settings, roles, and I would create a different role called bots. And I would display role members separately from online members so that it would show up in the right section. And I would assign this role right here. So now it shows up under bots. So you can send a message when a user joins the server. That's basically what you want. You can select which uh, channel it appears in. So I would select welcome and a template. So I'm going to press save here. If you go on my actual server, you can see um, someone just joined. So if I go to general, you can see two people just joined. Hey, welcome to always creating community. And so this way people are notified and feel welcomed. And there's also different fun things like levels. So if you go on my server right here and go to bot commands, people can sort of see what level they're at. And this is just fun. This just shows how active you are in the community. So you can see me right here. You can also add music bots and the upload YouTube feature is only for premium plans, which is a bummer. So you'll actually have to unlock premium, which costs about $4 a month. So if you're willing to pay that, I think it's worth it. So on my main server, you can see there's different bots I have. So you guys can check out these different ones. There's giveaway bot, which is also popular. Um, so if I go actually to my new section, every time I've uploaded a video, me six actually says, Hey everyone, a new video out now. So that's just an example of the use of this bot. Lastly, I'm just going to show you one little cool trick you can do. You can go to server settings and go to emoji and you can add different server emojis. So these are just fun, creative things that you can add. So for example, if I go to my server emojis and these are from all the different servers I'm in, I don't have to be in that particular server to use the emojis. I can press on the emoji application and you can see from the 4YE server, there's different emojis. From Wall Street Bets, there's different emojis. From my own server, there's my logo. There's a gravestone emoji. All the different servers I'm in, there's different emojis different custom ones. And lastly, to invite other people, you can press invite people. And usually I would press edit invite link and I would make it expire never. And I would make there are no maximum number of uses. This is usually helpful if you're going to leave this in your description of your YouTube videos or just, or maybe like your Instagram bio so that you don't have to constantly change the invite. And then you would just copy this. Yeah. So that's about it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you want a video on the best Discord bots to add to your server. I'll definitely make a video on that if a lot of people want it. Just make sure to comment below. Also check out my Discord channel in the pinned comment below. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.